my top picks for April. Let's get into it. So Chris, today we are going to be taking a look at the three altcoins that uh, I think are worth potentially getting into during the month of April. These are three fantastic projects, and I think they have a lot of potential in them, a lot of upside, um, but do expect a few bits of retracement here and there. But I think these three projects are going to do incredibly well, and these are you know, the three projects that I am actively getting into. Um, so hopefully you all guys will find this useful and informative. If you do, then do go ahead and hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And of course, you know, if you want to know more about those hidden gems, uh, stay up to date with new cryptocurrencies and make money, then why not consider subscribing to the channel? By subscribing, you're going to be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free and you're going to stay well informed. So why not? And with that said, Chris, uh, shall we jump over to the desktop and start talking about uh, the first project that I think is absolutely awesome and I think is worth uh, potentially getting into? Yeah, let's do it, Nick. Fantastic. So the first project, guys, that I think is going to do quite well during the month of April um, is API3. This is a fantastic little project. Um, and I call it little only because of the size of its market cap. Its market capitalization is only 137 million at the point of recording this video, and it's absolutely tiny. Um, but that being said, the project itself actually tackles quite a massive task. It is a competitor to Chainlink, if you will, and uh, has been um, actually the top validator for the Chainlink uh, ecosystem. And they learnt a lot whilst working for um, Chainlink as that validator and uh, they've decided actually they can do it a little bit more efficiently. Cutting out the middleman, they're able to go direct to the internet service providers and uh, get that real world data without actually using middlemen. And um, so they're doing some fantastic things. Obviously, they're relatively new to the crypto space. They are a startup after all. But, uh, you know, since they've launched in December, they've seen pretty significant gains in the price appreciation of their API3 token. Now, just today, at the point of recording this video, it has gone up over 23%. But I don't think this is a massive move, considering its market cap is still only 130 million. I think there's a huge amount of potential in this thing to the upside. So definitely something that we want to be considering. So when it comes to oracles and gathering that real world data, everyone seems to think of a few hand chosen projects. Obviously, you have Chainlink that is the leader in the space. Second to that, obviously, you have things like BAN protocol. But API3 is a bit of an underdog. It is new, but it's definitely a serious competitor. And I think, yes, ultimately, it's not going to have as many integrations in these other ecosystems like Chainlink does, um, at least not for 2021. But moving further forward into the space, who wouldn't want to be optimizing their business model with more cheaper and affordable oracles? And in which case, API3 may just be the solution for them. So do watch that space. I think API3 is going to do well in 2021 as this is a speculative market currently. But as we enter a world where more adoption is there, I think API3 is going to be a serious competitor and something that Chainlink will be worried about in the future. So therefore, it has also a short term but long term potential. So definitely something to be thinking about. So API3 does take my top spot here, Chris, as something that has huge potential. It's a total uh, maximum and uh, total supplies are 100 million and the circulating currently is 13.8. So it's not going to take a lot of money to get this needle moving. So really something awesome here, I believe. Is there anything, Chris, that you would like to add on API3? Love the project. I think it's solid, solid team, solid tech, solid everything. There is um, nothing to that, that, I, that I, I can kind of deem negative about it in any way. Um, I'd like to see more PR on it, um, but that's about it. Um, for me, I agree, it's going to do really well. And um, yeah, like... I guess it's a shame that we didn't get in before today, if that makes <laughs> sense, but for, for, the, for the video at least, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? That, that's fine. Um, so let's take a look, Chris, at that second project that I think is going to do incredibly well during the month of April, and that has to be SingularityNet. So SingularityNet, in a similar way to API3, has an absolutely tiny market cap. Obviously, there are smaller market caps out there, 
you know, absolutely sub 100 million. And and that does, you know, is interesting. But when it comes to AGI and Singularity Net, we'd have a market capitalization of $276 million. Again, absolutely tiny when you start comparing it to things like, uh, you know, Ethereum, Cardano, XRP, Polkadot, all of those other kind of behemoths, they uh, are in the billions upon billions of dollars. And this is the kind of market capitalization that has a huge growth potential. All you have to do really is look at things like Anchor and One Harmony to realize you can go from 100 million to 1.7 billion in a short space of time. So do watch this one. I think this is a hidden gem in itself, but above that, I think Singularity Net is going to do incredibly well. It is tackling a pretty big task in the real world, and its whole use case is built around a artificial intelligence, and specifically the artificial general intelligence. They're looking to build an entire market space around decentralization of the artificial algorithms. So definitely something that I can see in the future being something crucial to the space. And they are integrating with Cardano as well. So I can see that um, you know Charles Hoskinson has mentioned uh, Singularity Net a few times. And then funny fact, guys, is well, I was actually invested in Singularity Net before I was invested in Cardano. That's how much I believe in this project. And obviously, you know Ben Gertzel, uh, he is the CEO of Singularity Net, does fantastic things not only with um, artificial intelligence, but he has partnered up with Hanson Robotics. He's created the Sophia ro robot, which uh, helps them medical industry as well and it all dovetails into the um agi the singularity net artificial intelligence system so i think there's a huge potential in the real world for artificial intelligence and ultimately making all of those algorithms you know decentralized for you know everyone to use rather than just those large corporations so you can see it's got some pretty good potential in the real world at least and obviously when we start looking at price appreciation i think that that's going to start representing over here and more so they are actually increasing their token supply it's currently 1 billion as a maximum number there that's going to increase to 2 billion over the next 100 years or so now you might be thinking why well, they're going to be printing more tokens isn't that going to affect the price in a negative way yes and no ultimately the supply is going to be gradually released over like a 90 odd year period uh, I've escaped the exact number, Chris. It's either 91 or 99. It's somewhere in that range. So ultimately, the tokens are dist going to be distributed nice and slowly. You're not really going to notice it too much. And uh, ultimately, we're in a bull run. And I think the new tokens are going to be actually more lucrative than damaging. And what I mean by this is those new tokens are no longer going to be on Ethereum. They're going to be on the Cardano ecosystem. So you end up with an Ethereum token and a Cardano token. And obviously, I think a lot of people who are currently holding the Ethereum token will look to exchange them for the ADA token at a one-to-one -one ratio. The reason mainly being that it's a lot cheaper to move AGI around on the Cardano system than it is the Ethereum system. Mm -hmm. So I think for one, I think it's going to be fantastic to see uh, the, the shift from Ethereum over to Cardano. And um, when this happens, I think the price of this particular project is going to appreciate significantly. And I can see this thing being a significant player for the space moving further forward. So definitely something that I wanted to call out here for April. Um, so Chris, that does mean that we've gone through uh, pick number one and pick number two, but have you got anything you would like to add on Singularity Net before we take a look at pick number three? Oh God, I love your projects, Nick. They're awesome. I think we need to make it a bit of a competition. Maybe what we'll do is we'll bung in like 500 into to each project and uh, share you know, the, the results <laughs> at the end of the, the month of April. I think, you know, we have team nick team chris sounds great um but back to the project yeah really like it think it's 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 um going to do really well we thought we had more time to to invest we're uh, gradually uh, over a weekly um basis uh increasing our position in this uh, particular project anyway so yeah really like it expect uh, some terrific gains love the fact that it's moving from ethereum over to to the cardano platform for me fantastic project and uh, i think it's going to do really well absolutely right so with that said let's take a look at that third pick and unsurprisingly guys it has to be cardano um and this is a bit of a you know a, a one that's kind of caused me and chris a little bit of a headache here it, does it deserve to be in this top three or not it has already got a significant market cap of 38 
billion dollars, right? And you're thinking, is it, is it really going to push that needle and have significant gains during the month of April? And it's one of those ones where it could and it could not. It has the ability to also increase and decrease. But I've put it here because I do feel that there's so much good and positive news around Cardano that the price is more than likely going to appreciate. Maybe not to the same value as API3 or SingularityNet, but I still think it's worth calling out. So Cardano has uh, been wor working hard, or at least IOG and Charles Hoskinson's team have been. They've been out there trying to get deals left, right, and center. And obviously bringing Ethiopia on board with only one signature remaining is a huge milestone. So I think once that final signature finally, you know, touches paper, that pen goes to paper on that signature, I think we're going to see some price appreciation. Above and beyond that, we've seen some fantastic integrations recently as well. Ultimately, we've seen Coinbase Pro list the ADA token along with Coinbase itself. Obviously, Bloomberg Terminal has also listed the ADA token for all of their traders too. So I can think that um, ultimately during the month of April, a lot more traders who will be trading this space and historically speaking, April is a bigger month than March, we could start to see a lot more trading happening with the ADA token and therefore hopefully push that price up a little bit higher. So I think it's worth calling out as that third project, but it shouldn't really come as much as a surprise because it's already kind of taken a significant jump to the upside from when I got in at the uh, the earlier stages, you know, around that five cent zone. So I think um, Cardano is worth calling out. I think it's got potential to go up to that $2.30-ish kind of area. Um, whether that happens in April is still up for debate, but um, I had to call it out. Anything you would like to add, Chris, on Cardano? No, love it. You know, we were at loggerheads um, and our, this is like, honestly, cards on the table, why we're going to split and Nick's going to do his picks for April <laughs> and I'm going to do mine. And then we're going to see who made the biggest gains. I think that's going to be awesome to see at the end of the month. Absolutely. So guys, hopefully you have found this video useful and informative. If you have, um, then do go ahead and hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And of course, you know, if you want to know more about these hidden gems, stay up to date with new cryptocurrencies and make money, then why not consider subscribing to the channel? By subscribing, you're going to be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free and you'll stay well informed. So why not? And with that being said, uh, we hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care.